So we are just getting back, settling into Kelowna. Just got back from a crazy week in Toronto. And I was just thinking and saying this the other day, the Toronto Pro Show is probably one of the smallest expos that I've been to. But honestly, that weekend was probably some of the most fun that I've had at an expo. I got to meet some of like the coolest subscribers, some of my Instagram followers who've like been following me for like a long time. And since it was a smaller expo and I got filming done so fast, I got a lot of time to talk to people, have more intimate than any other expo I've been to. Also hanging out with like the Rise guys, uh, Mark, Tony, Matt, obviously Jeff and Brian, like all of those guys, it was just so fun. Seeing their process of shooting content and just overall how they get along as a team just made the expo so much better. It's definitely one of those places I gotta go back to. I wanna go back just to get B-roll, but this time I did get some sick B-roll while I was there. <laughs> things to do today the first on our list is going to pick up this package that i missed the other day super excited to pick this up right now when i open up the package you'll see why i'm so excited to pick this up and for the record i am not vlogging and driving right now i got my camera on a tripod I don't know if you guys can guess by the box, but P Science Protein Bars, they just came out with a whole new wave of like protein bars. I think they had the peanut butter, chocolate, and raspberry white chocolate or something like that, but they just came out with this fudge flavor. I'm like a huge fudge bar guy, so apparently it's supposed to be good. I'm gonna give you an honest taste test review right now. It's gonna be like completely unbiased review. Oh. I open it and I read this thing. It's like, these bars are fresh. Allow them to sit at room temperature for one to two hours. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. If you follow any of the athletes, you already know what this box looks like. I mean, it's a pretty nice box. The macros on these bars are going to be eight grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, and 17 grams of protein. I think that's pretty decent. Obviously, there's probably other protein bars with better macros, but these are supposed to taste the best. So, let's see. I'm actually gonna give it an eight out of 10. I think these are actually super good. They do taste like a chocolate bar. Like the usual taste that you get out of protein bars, these don't have that like dry taste to it. Arguably is the best protein bar I've had. So all right, that's my review. I just know to put the sauce on it. I don't care about the cost on it. I just gotta get lost on it. I weighed in this morning at 186, which feels freakishly low. Go back to the first video. I weighed in at about 206, I think, in the start of this. I don't know, you guys can go back and see, but I am starting starting to feel lean even in the mornings without a pump as you can see i'm thinking like 182 183 that definition would be crazy but like i said this is me without a pump right now so at the moment i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do like i said 182 183 would be crazy lean but i'm not sure if i really want to dig that deep now we're around like that 20 ish pound mark and honestly like it's kind of taking a toll on me in the gym and i really enjoy lifting heavy weight so i don't really want to dig much deeper thinking i might go 184 see how i feel in the gym see how i feel just in general one thing i will say is this whole cut has been like really slow i've taken it over like a course of like two months or two to three months uh pretty sure i can't remember i'll have to look at the dates on the videos but slow enough where i've been enjoying life and i've had like many days where i'll go out with friends or go out with my girlfriend get a high calorie meal go to the movies eat that popcorn and then have those days to like recover after get back on track exactly what i've been doing i've been doing that this whole time and i still got to where i am from 206 to 186. You don't have to restrict food to lose weight. You just have to have like a nice balance. Like if you're gonna go out, you're gonna eat that piece of that one meal, it's not gonna throw off your whole cut. It might make it longer, but it won't throw off the whole thing. So right now I'm about to eat Greek yogurt and a little bit of this. Patty Lips put this on his story one day. This Kool-Aid squirters and Kool-Aid squirters. Don't quote me on that. A little bit of this and some strawberries cut up in Greek yogurt. This literally tastes like ice cream to me. So if I'm correct, that whole bowl straight up is about 200 calories. I'm gonna smash that right now. I'm gonna get some work done. I have to FaceTime a supplier, try to get everything right for these next kosher shirts coming out. Also have to talk to my supplier about some other things I'm trying to do in the future. And then we're gonna head over to Jeff's house and film the next video we're doing. It's like a scientific video. You guys, you guys already know that. So eat this and then I'm gonna head out and I'll catch up with you guys when we get to Jeff's. Yo, I'm okay. Yo. Please enter. Yo. 
I get like a quite of people ask me like expos or stuff like that what camera what lens do I use I know everybody knows what camera I use a7r3 but usually I'm always using the 2470 G Master lens and I think this is arguably like the best lens ever created for Sony cameras but it's probably the most expensive lens that you can buy they get clocks in at like 3500 or something crazy like that so a good alternative for this lens is going to be the 24 to 70 Sigma art lens I think Tamron may have one too I don't know I haven't checked them all out so don't take my word on those lens being good but i've seen reviews and comparing this one in the sigma art and apparently it's like around the same value so thousand dollars cheaper definitely a good, good idea to save money so this has been the tripod for like the last couple of days well i guess the last few videos because we forgot like two tripods in florida that's all we got making it work you know it works so we just finished shooting that video right now we're gonna start shooting some pictures for Pete science we have like no direction and where we want to go with these pictures <laughs> you'll see it on his page we'll make something cool out of this i'm gonna leave here depart from nip and probably <laughs> probably gonna get something to eat because i've had about 400 calories today at least i saved up before my workout and i could get like a nice carby meal before the workout <laughs> Jesus! And then I'm gonna hit a nice push day. <laughs> what? Did you miss that? Yeah, I'm gonna get a nice carby meal, then I'm gonna get a push day in with one of the boys. So usually I go through these workouts when I'm at home, but switch up the scenery today. I'm in the studio room of the gym and I'm gonna take you guys through this workout that I just went through. If I can remember the workout that I just went through. I know the first thing I did when I got in here was take a little bit of time, do a little bit of cardio to get my blood flowing. Lately with me being leaner, I've been having trouble like kind of getting a pump. So I took the time with my boy Jackson, who I worked out with today. Appreciate him for helping me get clips during this workout get five minutes of cardio today it was mainly just to get the blood flowing rather than burn a certain amount for deficit the first exercise we did was bench press and i haven't been benching this whole cut to be honest i have been feeling really weak i've been using that as an excuse not to bench i know that i shouldn't but i have I'm going to be jumping back on a bench program as soon as i'm lean bulking and i'm just chasing bench numbers and chasing squat numbers again because i've been kind of neglecting those um, big three movements hit bench for a couple sets it was like a really lightweight day i was going for like eight reps on most of the things i didn't get too high in weight on that then we moved on to pec flies and with the pec flies my weight is still pretty good with that i'm um, just focusing on contracting everything i did today was mostly like four by 15 other than my bench press so i did four by 15 on the pec fly and those are always like my favorite movement when it comes to chest because i always feel like the most contraction and the most stretch on that movement i think we moved on to a decline like hammer strength machines like another thing that i usually don't do i'll do a dumbbell length line or dumbbell decline but today we went with the hammer strength machine, kind of switched it up. It's one of Jackson's favorite exercises, so I kind of switched on my workout split to kind of fit what he likes. And um, I have no problem doing that ever when working out with someone. So we went ahead and did that 4x15 on that also. I felt like a crazy burn on that. I usually go a little more ham on those than I would with dumbbells. When you fail on a machine, it's a lot easier than if you were to fail with dumbbells. And you know, you look like an idiot when you fail with dumbbells. But with machines, I go like ballistic with the 4x15s, making sure full, full contraction and kind of like pushing myself on these on my high volume days finished that out and then we moved on to shoulders first shoulder exercise we did was a dumbbell shoulder press with shoulder dumbbell press is one of those things i've kept in my workout split on both my days my heavy days and my light days so like i said today four by 15 with that 60 for the first set felt a little too heavy not gonna lie so i eventually moved on to 55 knocked those out for 15 reps it was definitely a grind i don't know if it's like mental or if my strength is down because i'm 20 pounds down now in this cut but it definitely felt kind of hard doing those 15 reps, but we squeezed it out and we got it done. So we moved on to some lateral raises. Usually I'll do four by 15 with 25 pound dumbbells, but today I did it with 30 pound dumbbells and um, it felt pretty good. So after lateral raises, we moved on to triceps and with triceps only did a cable pull down on that. Usually I'll do like some type of overhead movement with the triceps, but only did one today because I was feeling like extra lazy to be honest. So that was like the last exercise that we finished out the workout with. Honestly, I'm at the point where I'm thinking I'm gonna end my cut pretty soon after this cut i'm going for a lean bulk and with this lean bulk i'm chasing numbers on every movement so trying to get as strong as possible i'm gonna start a deadlift program get back to bench get back to chase the squat my last time i was squatting i hit 315 was like my pr so this time around got a bell for riot i'm gonna be chasing some squat numbers really soon so hopefully 405 by the end of this lean bulk you guys can hold me to it i'm gonna end the vlog 
right here. I'm gonna go home, smash another one of those PE Science Fudge Bars and start grinding away on a lot of work I got to do. So if you're new, join the crew, subscribe to this channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Personal over, yeah. Flipping it, I gotta go, yeah. Then I get back on the